Good afternoon and happy Wednesday, everyone. I am so glad to be back with you. I'm sorry I missed you last week, but um, I've had a nasty chest cold and I just was having the worst coughing fits. And um, it was, uh, you didn't want to witness that. It was not not meant for public. <laughs> it would not have been fun. I would have been just coughing the whole time. So um, I'm feeling better and I'm excited to be back here with you this week. I want to talk about summer. After freezing temperatures and not enough daylight in the winter and endless rain and weather whiplash in the spring, nothing sounds more inviting than getting outside to enjoy sunshine, hot days by the pool, meals on the patio, evening walks, icy drinks, and barbecues. But that heat and sunshine we long for makes summer outfits a challenge. When we're shivering in our boots, we forget how hot, hot actually is. And when it arrives, the idea of something touching our bodies like, you know, clothes, sounds about as inviting as a day trip to hell. And it's about what it sounds like. With summer outfits, there's not a lot of variety in styles. We rarely reach for layers, and all the usual tricks we have for making an outfit shine are off the table. And yet, we have places to go. Remember those barbecues? How do we survive the heat and still look great? It's easier than you think. No item in your summer capsule wardrobe is as versatile, light, breezy, easy, chic, one and done, and all around wardrobe workhorse as a summer dress. More than ever, we long for that perfect combination of comfort and style, and dresses are the answer, especially in the summer. What is essentially a long shirt <laughs> Is your shortcut to instant style and even though you could sleep in it because it's so comfortable something about a dress looks instantly polished and put together i have a few trip tips to help you get the right kind of dress and then we're going to look at one simple trick to change it up for any occasion from a pool day to an evening out or an afternoon wedding so first thing materials matter. Obviously, we're not talking about a silk dress or even a structured gabardine. The dresses I'm talking about have some stretch and some give. Really thin knits are not as easy to dress up, but ponte knits can be mistaken for a crepe, and jersey knits show up in everything from swimwear to formal wear. So those are great options when you're looking at the materials for the dress that you're going to use for that every situation answer. Next, color. To get ultimate versatility from one summer dress, though my summer wardrobe has several dresses, they are hands down my favorite thing to wear in the summer you're going to get the best results from solid neutrals. I've talked about how important it is to get your um, wardrobe essentials, and those are your, your solid neutrals. Those are your foundation pieces. And it's the same with this every situation dress. Neutrals always look dressier and more expensive especially the darker neutrals. They're also less likely to show wear and tear. If you want something lighter in the summer, um, your lighter neutral variations can also look dressy too. But I'm just telling you, the easiest uh, is your darker neutrals, but neutrals. Patterns can also easily lean more casual and can be harder to dress up. Um, but solids are easy to wear in every variation. So I'm not saying that your go-to summer dress cannot have be a color and that it can't have a pattern. I'm just telling you the easiest option will be a dark solid neutral. 
And then my next, the next thing to consider is the length. To take your dress everywhere you want to go, knee length to midi length um, is the most universally flattering and the most versatile. It depends on what your days look like, but a mini dress is a wardrobe malfunction waiting to happen if you need to get down on the floor with kids or down on a blanket for um, a picnic or um, <coughs> Sorry, there's still, I still have a little bit of a cough. Um, <coughs> Great, hopefully that's over. Um, or an outdoor summer concert. I'll start that sentence over. How about that? To take your dress everywhere you want to go, knee length to midi length is the most versatile and universally flattering. It depends on what your days look like, but a mini dress is a wardrobe, malfun wardrobe malfunction waiting to happen. If you need to get down on the floor with kids or down on a blanket for a picnic or an outdoor summer concert, nothing will ruin your fun like constantly tugging at your hem to keep your bottom covered. Many dresses are also not typically office or wedding appropriate. A maxi dress can be a great summer option, but it does block all the airflow that we long for and that we're getting in a knee length ish dress. And, but it does work as a bring your own blanket option at that picnic or summer concert. So um, it's just not as versatile style wise. Your summer wardrobe can include all lengths of dresses, but when you're looking for the ultimate versatility, knee length to midi length will take you everywhere you wanna go. So those are the three things I would consider as you're looking for this take you everywhere dress. And the dress that we are using as our example today is the dress that I am wearing right now. Um, if you know me, you know I chose black <laughs> because black is the color of my soul. And um, it's just my favorite. I just love black. So let's take a look at the dress. And black is also hard to photograph and I'm not a good photographer or photo editor, but um, it's this dress obviously has a slight boat neck and a cap sleeve. It's a nice structured knit. This one's not um, quite a ponte knit, but it is a nice thick knit. And looking at it, you wouldn't be like, oh gosh, you're wearing a t-shirt dress today, aren't you? You really wouldn't. And then it has a wide um, waistband here. It has uh, seaming and darts here. It's It's got nice tailoring and structure. Um, which adds to the versatility of it as far as dressing it up. And I'm just going to kind of show you because I, it's hard to see in that picture. I tried lightening it and then anyway, the picture got crazy, but um, it even has pockets here. Um, it has a very slight A-line cut to it. Um, and it's just a, it's, it's a really nice, easy dress to wear. And this is a dress that I'll be featuring in the summer classic wardrobe guide, which I've gotten a lot of questions about, and that is going to be coming um, next week. So if you're not on the waiting list yet, you don't want to miss it. It will only be available for a week and you can go to stunningstyle.com forward slash society to get on the waiting list and to learn more about it. But this is um, an item that I'll be featuring in the guide and I love it. I've already worn it several times. Um, and it's, it's so good. So this is the dress we're talking about <clears throat> today, dressing it up and down. The first way that, oh, I guess I should have stopped screen sharing when I was showing you the dress. Sorry. I can't see everything on my screen as I'm doing this. So, um, you can, can you see the band here? It's got this wide band. It's got the seaming here. And in the back, it has matching 
seaming and then it's got these pockets here so um i love pockets and it's the perfect length it comes in petite and tall and it comes in plus sizes as well so it's an item i've been really excited about okay the first way that i styled this dress is for a pool day your go-to dress can double as a swimsuit cover-up or an easy outfit to wear coming and going from the pool it's only one piece to keep up with and easy to throw on and you can wear it before and after anywhere you're going if the pool isn't your only destination if you're going to be stopping at the grocery store on the way home or running to the post office on your way there and your typical summer your swimsuit cover-up isn't really something you want to wear um anywhere other than the pool your go-to dress is the perfect option throw on a pair of flip-flops grab your pool tote and you are ready to go so that's not showing that all the way hold on why is that let's see that was zoomed in okay um i love this cyan color i love to wear these flip-flops uh to the pool <clears throat> and then i have this black and white striped tote it's a coated canvas so i don't have to worry about it getting ruined um by water or cement it's pretty indestructible or spilled sunscreen or spilled anything um and i can put all of the pool stuff that i need in there and these are these flip-flops are easy to kick off and it's just perfect for um running anywhere i need to go before or after we go to the pool the next place or way that you can wear a dress like this is a day at the park sandals especially wedges are my favorite summer shoe but not when i'm going to the park i think all these pictures are for some reason zoomed in they are i don't know why um or anywhere else that isn't paved one sprained ankle is enough to last me a lifetime and i couldn't blame it on my shoes even at that time but i am now extra cautious on uneven surfaces gravel grass or even dirt pads or you know dirt area can be uneven and treacherous and i want to be able to run or walk without worry especially when I'm with my kids. So I love summer sneakers with my dress. Throw on an easy crossbody bag and I'm worried free. Anywhere that I'm going, that I'm gonna be more active, um, even a day of errands. If I'm gonna be on my feet a lot, uh, you know, I have problem feet and um, they hurt me pretty quickly. So if I'm gonna be walking a lot, it's sneakers for me. And uh, I love being able to throw on a pair of slip on sneakers and a crossbody bag. So I'm hands free and I'm ready to go. But I look really dressed up and put together and um, chic, even though I'm basically wearing a long t shirt. The next place our dress is going to take us weekends or days at home whether you're a stay-at-home mom whether you, or you work from home or you need casual weekend looks errands an easy everyday summer look is as simple as a dress and a pair of sandals and a summer tote i don't know why my pictures are doing weird things today
totes are an easy and chic way to carry around your returns as you run errands. If you've got things you need to take back instead of carrying a bunch of plastic or paper um, store bags, put all your returns and receipts in a tote like this. And um, you've got them all easy to carry around. A friend of mine taught me that trick. Uh, you can carry snacks and uh, supplies for the kids, or you can even take your picnic stuff. Grab your favorite sandals, your summer sandals, and this straw tote to bring a summer vibe to this dress. To this dress. So this tote is going to be one of the options in the summer wardrobe guide shopping portal. Um, I stopped in my tracks as soon as I saw it. It's so good. The straw plus the leather, like <laughs> the perfect summer bag for me. So um, this is going to go everywhere with me this summer and I cannot wait. And I just throw it on with my sandals and I'm ready to go. In the summer, we have a lot of baby showers, wedding showers, lunch out with friends, um, casual occasions where you want a slightly more elevated look, you can grab some wedges and a smaller, sleeker bag to dress up your summer dress because, you know, kids and husbands aren't invited to this occasion. Uh, we're not carrying anybody else's stuff this time. This is just us and uh, we can wear what we like. <laughs> We're probably not going to be in the grass or gravel so we don't have to worry about uneven surfaces. And um, yeah, we can we wear what we like, but we still want to be comfortable. We still want to look nice. And this is a perfect look for something like that. Just because it's summer doesn't mean we all get the summer off like our kids do. If you uh, need a dressier look for work, um, this dress has you covered. You can grab your favorite heels and structured bag and you're ready to go. Um, in the summer, you may be able to wear an open toe or an open heel, but if your workplace is very dressy, I probably wouldn't do both. I would choose one or the other. It really depends on your office dress code and you would need to see what others are wearing or they might have a written dress code, but suddenly this dress is perfectly work appropriate. And um, it's taking you everywhere you need to go. I love this. I've worn this outfit. I wore it to church, I think. Um, I need more places I can go to be dressed up. <laughs> That's what I kept thinking about as I was doing this, taking these pictures. So the last place our bag is going to, or our dress is going to take us is an evening out, like a date night um, or an afternoon wedding that, you know, not as, not as dressy as uh, an evening wedding. Like if, if this is not going to pass for formal wear, like that's just the truth. Um, but afternoon weddings tend to be more casual um, and sometimes outside. So you can put on shiny or metallic heeled sandals and you can go open toe and open heel on this one if you want to um, and a shiny or metallic bag to elevate this dress. Um, it doesn't have to be metallic. You could add something beaded or rhinestones. Um, it even doesn't have to be quite that, but um, had a lot of tech issues today. You can't tell. Um, but this would be perfect for something like this. I would definitely wear this out on a date night with my husband or to an afternoon wedding. So all I did in all of these looks was change 
my shoes in my bag. Did you notice? That was the only thing that changed. And it completely changed the look of the outfit. You can take it even further by changing up your accessories. Um, you could add some nicer jewelry to this look, something um, uh, rhinestone-y. You know, it just depends on how dressy you want to take it. You can change things up with accessories. You can dress things down with your accessories as well. But for these examples, all I did was change my shoes and my bag, and that changed up everything about how this dress looks this one dress and like i said this is going to be featured in the summer classic wardrobe guide it's coming out next week and if you want to learn more or get on the waiting list it's stunningstyle.com forward slash society um the wardrobe guide is a seasonal ebook that i curate uh, the whole collection for. I shop and shop until I drop. My office is full of packages. There are some waiting for me on the porch. I got the notification right before I came live and I resisted the temptation to run up there, grab them and open them real quick before we started because it would have made me late, but oh my gosh, they're waiting for me. <coughs> um, I order all of the featured items to check them for quality, for color, for fit, and make sure that what I'm recommending to you passes my standards. So um, once I get those pieces, I create a collection for you of items that mix and match, that go uh, together, and that you can uh, wear all summer long and have a complete wardrobe. Or you can um, use it to supplement your wardrobe. It's not about buying all new things. I do include links to everything. For whatever you need, the links are there. But the first thing that we do is we shop our closets. And I take you through the process of shopping my closet for the current guide and show you how I am substituting for similar things or um, just what I love and what I have. And then if there's anything that I'm missing that I really feel like will round out my wardrobe, I, I'll pick up one or two things to refresh my wardrobe. This dress obviously is a keeper. Like, I can't say no to an awesome dress. I just can't. This one is staying. I've already worn it multiple times. Um, so um, then I take those pieces. I create 100 outfits templates that you can wear exactly as they are or you can mix them up uh, to make them perfectly you and then all all summer long each week we have a lesson on how to incorporate your style twist to make these outfits perfectly you so everything in the guide that's featured is minimal classic and it's a winter color palette um, bold cool hues and neutrals like black and white and navy and silver. Um, it's the only color palette I include and it's the only color palette I shop for and it's um, all classic style. And then in the shopping portal we have additional items based on the style twists. So you can incorporate your special recipe, your perfect version of what classic style looks like. And I put all those outfits on a calendar so that you don't even have to pick your outfit. Each, um, each day of the month is a different outfit. Each day of the whole season is a different outfit. And that gives you the opportunity to wear all the items spread out and get maximum wear from each piece. So nothing sits uh, unloved and unworn in the back of your closet. You don't even have to think up how to wear it because I have done that for you. And we also have the most incredible Facebook group. If you've been part of my community long, you know how important a positive, supportive, uplifting community is to me and how um, strictly we uh, monitor that and, and 
exemplify that. And this group of women is so incredibly special and supportive and kind, and you'll never meet better, better people anywhere. They're some of my very favorite people, and I just thoroughly enjoy the time I spend with them. Um, they are a bright light in my life. So that is a brief synopsis of what you get with the Stunning Style Society membership. Um, each season you get a new guide, you get new shopping portal options, new outfit options, a new uh, collection for inspiration, and um, new calendars, and a whole lot of fun. And I hope you'll join me. It's only open for a week, and it'll come out next week, and then we close the doors again until fall. One more thing I want to mention is this year we're doing the year of the twist and each week I do these lessons about how to incorporate your classic uh, style twist into your wardrobe. And this is a free bonus that I've added this year only. It's going to be a course at the end of the year. It's going to be five courses actually, um, and it won't be part of the society anymore. Uh, last season, we focused a lot on color, and this season we'll be focusing on special details, incorporating those special details so you can um, really feel perfectly you in the summer. Like I said, summer outfits are the hardest, and it's really hard to uh, bring in the details you need to feel perfectly you. Uh, summer I hear it from all of you. Ah, oh, summer outfits are so hard. I never feel put together in the summer. Summer outfits, I don't like them, but I want it to be summer. I just want to wear my fall and spring clothes. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. So um, this summer, we're going to be focusing on special details because that is really how you're going to get that interest and your special twist on classic style. We'll also be uh, talking about how to dress for summer so that it's just interesting, so that you love your outfits. And that is just the biggest, one of the biggest challenges that I hear from you in my inboxes and in my DMs. And that's going to be our focus this summer and I'm really excited for it. And I hope all of you are too. Okay, let's take a look at some comments. If you have any questions, go ahead and add them in um, in here and um, I'll answer them for you. So MPOTX, Robin says, love the black dress and excited to have one. Robin, I'm excited for you to have one. It is my new favorite dress. <laughs> and I love, I've got some good ones, but this one's going everywhere with me. Kathy says, hi from Missouri. I actually got right in here for a change. Sorry, I'm late. Well, Kathy, you're not late. You're right on time. You're here and that's all that matters. And we're thrilled you could join us. Um, Megan says, so excited for the summer guide. I'm so glad. I'm excited for it too. This is, uh, this has been, um, well, summer guide, I'll be honest. It's like, it's the hardest one all year for all the reasons I just told you. <laughs> And, <clears throat> oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. When you join this summer um, as an annual member, as a bonus, you will be able to access the, the style steps and the style, the style twist lessons that we did in spring, where we talked a lot about color. And um, it was really, really, good that sounds kind of braggy but it was it was powerful for me and it made some real changes to my own wardrobes i had several of my own personal aha moments um but that's a bonus this season only it it won't happen again in the fall and the winter fall and winter you'll just have to wait for uh, those to be released as part of the course melinda says i just bought a similar looking dress in addition an addition of a short sleeve sweater adds color and helps with the chili stores or restaurants. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you can add, you can add something like that. Um, I'm actually today wearing a sweater because I'm just, I'm always cold. It's in the eighties here, but 
Um, if you can, like, I have Ray Nose, and so you can see on my hands the white streaks. Um, and in the in the pictures, my legs and feet look kind of purple because I'm freezing. And I have a, a space heater on. It's 80 degrees in my office. Um, and so I've been wearing a cardigan all day. And I took it off for the pictures. And I took it off for this so you could see the dress. But for sure, Melinda, I will be wearing um, a sweater or jacket in the house or inside any enclosed air conditioned building because it's like they're trying to refrigerate us. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. But um, yeah, see, Kathy says, oh, I like that idea. Um, she might be talking about Melinda's idea. Janet says the color info for the style twists was absolutely amazing. Janet, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, it was really powerful for me. And the uh, feedback that I got from most of the stunners was that it, it, you know, made a huge difference from them as well. But I love hearing that from you. Thank you, Janet. Kathy says, I need color. And a lot of you do. And like I said, your dress can be a color. It will just be a little less, it, it can be more of a challenge to dress it up and down and get the maximum versatility from it, but you can bring in that color with your shoes and bag. Also, um, you can have the dress can be colored and if you need a layer, you can add a colorful layer. Um, it really is just up to you. I just love neutrals and I wanted the focus of these pictures to be just the change in the shoes in the bag um, and not the color. And so I stuck with neutrals for everything, uh, but you can definitely wear colored shoe options. I almost brought down some colored shoe and bag options for this, but just to keep the examples um, on track, I stuck with neutrals just to show you the impact of changing up the style of your shoes and your bag and not have an additional you know, if we're back in science class, you only change one thing in your experiment and this would have been too many things to change to really see how uh, how it was impacting. So you can bring color in anywhere that you want to into these outfits. Uh, it really is up to you. You get to make it yours. And that's something we really focus on in the society. How can you make it yours? How can you personalize this? And these style twist lessons are all about finding your signature classic style. Kathy says, don't get me wrong, you look beautiful. I usually don't like animal print, but that outfit looked wonderful. Oh, oh no, I totally understood what you're saying. And what I like isn't always going to be what other people like. And um, it's just, uh, yeah, you'll make it work for you. These were just my examples, but I love leopard. We all know how much I love leopard. Linda says, hi, April, is the dress true to size? Do you know I'll have to look at my tag? I don't remember what size I'm wearing because this is not, uh, I've had this for a month or more. I've worn it multiple times during the time when I wasn't taking any, any outfit pictures. <laughs> um, uh, so I don't remember what, what size I'm wearing, but one of the things that I do, the very first style step, uh, we take after the wardrobe guide is released is I do a try on and Linda knows this cause she's a member of the society. I try on all of the featured items live in a Facebook, in the Facebook group. I wear a nude colored tee, like, you know, it's all G rated. Um, and I try everything on and I compare colors and I uh, give you sizing recommendations and just to help you get a really good idea of how it looks on a person and um, to help you make the best choices, whether you want to buy anything and if any of these are the things you do want to buy. And I answer all the questions. It's really fun. It's like it's like the most fun shopping you'll ever do. It's like a big girlfriend party, you know. They get their snacks and drinks and laptops and sit down and watch. I do all the trying on and answer all the questions and we just chat and have fun. And um, that's one of the ways I help you uh, 
get this done for you option, get your maximum value so that you can easily order and you're not going back and forth about sizing. Oh, is that color right? And how does it compare to this color? Um, I show you all of that in the, in the things and yeah, I would have to take the dress off to tell you what size I'm wearing right now. Linda. So I'll have to, but that I'll definitely share that information when we do the try on. So if you're interested in the society and in the classic wardrobe guides, if you want to learn more, and if you want to join the waiting list, you can go to stunningstyle.com forward slash society um, to be the first to know when it's released because you don't want to miss it. It's only available for a week and then we close the doors again until summer. So those are all the comments and questions I see. Um, I hope this was helpful and uh, I can't wait to see how you take your summer dresses from the pool to a wedding this summer and all the uh, outfit pictures. Um, and thanks for being with me. I know this has been kind of a weird few months <laughs> for me personally in my personal life. And, um, and I've kind of missed you. Not kind of, I've missed you a lot. This is one of my favorite things. Debbie says, the Stunning Style Society content is second to none. April is so thorough in her explanations and shows many visuals you won't be disappointed. Thank you, Debbie. Debbie's been with me for a long time and um, I love all my stunners and I really, really appreciate, appreciate when you all hop in and, and uh, share, share the love. Thank you, Debbie. Kathy says, it was helpful. Thank you. We'll have to replay. Well, great. As soon as we're done here, you'll be able to replay it here on Facebook. Um, and it'll also be on my website either later today or tomorrow. And if you're on my email list, you'll get an email letting you know uh, that this post is live and you'll be able to watch it or read it and look at the pictures. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me. This is always a highlight of my week and I enjoy our time together. I will see you again next week. And again, the guide will be out next week and we'll be talking more about summer wardrobes. So join me in our usual time at 1 p.m. Eastern time in our usual place. Um, you can see me this on my Facebook page in one of my Facebook groups and on my YouTube channel. And I will see you again soon.